Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome to the video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing TDEE. -E. You, you might have heard me toss that phrase around quite a bit and kind of want to make, a, make its own video and dive into it in a little bit more depth so you guys get a better understanding of what it exactly is. All right. So TDEE -E stands for Total Daily Energy Expenditure, aka it's essentially the total number of calories you burn throughout the day. And this is calculated by taking your BMR, which is your basal metabolic rate, and your BMR essentially is the number of calories you burn in the day by just existing. Just if you, just for being here on this planet, that's how much you currently burn. And that's based on your height, your weight, your age, etc. Then you take that number, your BMR, and then you add the calories burned throughout the day. And this is from various things such as intense exercise, uh, going to the gym, sitting at your desk at work, uh, walking a lap in the park, doing some gardening. Anything you do throughout the day, you burn a specific number of calories. And after taking that total and adding it to your BMR, you get your total daily energy expenditure. And the reason this is important is because it's pretty much what weight loss and weight gain are based on. You know, the most effective diets, they're always based around calorie deficits or calorie um, excess. So calories consumed when it's greater than your TDEE, you're going to gain weight. Essentially, you're eating more calories than you're burning throughout the day and plus the calories burned by just existing. All right. When they're equal to each other, you maintain weight. And when calories consumed is lower, that's when you actually see weight loss. And that's why you need to rather – a lot of people take in – you know, there's a lot of different um, diets out there. You know, some are based on protein, high protein, low carbs, other based on moderate carbs, high fats. You know, there's a lot of different ways to approach it. But the number one rule is you do need a calorie deficit to lose weight. And that's why your total daily energy expenditure is such an important number for you to track. So I'm going to toss a link on the screen for my favorite calculator. You know, there's a number of different ways to calculate. There's a number, number of different equations. Um, and all each calculator is going to take its different approach. However, we're not, it's not an exact science. You know, we are never going to be able to know exactly how many calories we burned in that day. So we need to get a rough estimate. And from there, we can just, you know, shift how much we eat in our diet plan according to whether or not we want to gain weight, lose weight, or maintain weight. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like or subscribe to my channel. Catch you all later. Peace.